Hello everyone and welcome back to Alma, Missouri. Today we are going to do some spring drilling and we are going to use our new fend tractor, big tractor that we bought in the last episode. And let's get to it without further ado. I jumped in the tractor, let's go get the drill and we are going to start with field number I think it's 28. Let's check on the map yes 28 it's the new field one of the two new fields that we bought and i want to drill wheat in it and wheat can be drilled only in march in the spring so i will basically have field 28 and 29 drilled with wheat so i will get enough feed for the chicken that i plan to get next year First of all, let's put some seed into this drill and some fertilizer because I ran out or not ran out, but um, almost ran out. We are now full and let's head to field 28. We are almost at field 28. Uh, first of all, let's select wheat because right now if you look in the bottom right corner we have canola selected wheat we have now selected wheat uh, and let's get going after uh, drilling and rolling this field we are going to move to april in April, we, it's the perfect month, I think, to sell our clothes. So we are going to make at least some money on them. I don't know exactly how much, but I'm hoping that it will be a good payday. And after we sell the clothes, I think we are going to move to May, but I'll have to check the crop calendar first, because we still need to drill our big field. It's field number 8, I think. And we are going to put soybeans in that one and soybeans can be drilled starting from May that's of course if I remember correct but let's put some music on and let's finish this fast
Okay, everyone, so the wheat is now almost in the ground. This is the last strip. It took a little while, but it's not a problem. Now we will have enough wheat to feed the chicken. When we get the chicken after the harvest, of course. But uh, now, before moving to April, we still, we still have another job to do, and that is rolling this field. So I'll go grab the rolls, and I'll see you back here. Okay, we are now back at the field, so let's try and finish this job as fast as possible. Okay everyone, so now the wheat field has been rolled, it's time to move to April. Okay, we are now in April, we have rain in the forecast, so let's go into the menu for a little bit and see when the rain will be here uh, at 2 p.m. It's okay. And then let's check on the price for clothes, because I think the first job we are going to do in April is to sell the clothes. Uh, and the best price actually is not in April, it's in May. But the difference is only probably 200, so it's not a problem. Let's go sell them today. So let's jump into the telehandler. I'll drop off the bail spike. Get the pallet forks. Let's go to the tailor shop, load up the clothes pallets that have spawned, or part of them are already loaded onto the low loader, but I'll load the rest and then we can go sell them. Okay, we are now almost at the tailor shop. Let's see if we have to load more pallets of clothes. Yes, we have at least two more pallets. 
so I'm not gonna time lapse this, I'm gonna just load them manually. Also, driving here, uh, I saw that all the signs that are uh, on the edge of the road, the road signs, uh, were not over. I don't know what happened, I'm not responsible for that, I didn't touch any of them. It's uh, some sort of a weird glitch, I think. But, uh, yeah, okay, doesn't bother me too much, just something I noticed while driving here. As you can see, we already have, I think it's nine pallets loaded on, on the trailer with those two, the total is around 11. Apparently, we have one pallet that it's stuck to the forks. Wonderful. Now should be okay. Okay, let's strap them down. I don't think any more will spawn. Actually, let's check on the production since we are here. Uh, we have a lot of ketchup again. Yeah, another one will spawn, but I think probably tomorrow because we don't have any fabric. So it will, it will take a while. So let's go get those ones sold, but I didn't remember well at the diner restaurant. I think it should be just in front of our here, yes. Let's see if we can attach this to the telehandler. Yes, we can. I'm happy about that because otherwise I needed to go back to the farm to get a tractor. But this works. So let's see how much money we are going to make on clothes. We made 200,000 plus 16,600 environmental score, so I'm very happy about it. Let's go park this load loader at the ketchup factory and I'll see you back at the farm. We are now back at the farm. First of all, let's go move the wool pallets because uh, on my way out I saw that we have some wool pallets and we need to put them into the spinnery. Also, driving back here I was thinking what to do with the money that we just earned from uh, from clothes and I come up with two options either get another plot of land which I think will be good and it will be a worthwhile investment or invest them in a bigger drill uh, yeah I don't know I'll I'll have to take a look at the land prices and see what kind of yield we can afford and then I'll look also at the drill prices. Actually, we are going to do this together just after we finish moving this wool. Also, I noticed on the way here that we have 30,000 liters of milk, so it will be a good idea to also sell that. And we also have the peas that are in storage and the best price for peas to sell peas is in uh, June. So it's a little bit further down the line, but uh, we are going to get there, let's say, pretty fast. So yeah, I don't know, I'll, let's, let's look at field prices. Let's park this right here. Don't need to move it anywhere else. Let's look at field prices. So yeah. 30,253 liters of milk, so we can sell that at some point. Let's look at fuel prices. Let's see what we have. So we can get fuel 7, which is 141,000. We can get fuel 6, which, uh, which is 121,000. 13, which is less than 100,000. Do they... Oh, sorry. Do they have anything on them? Yes, this one has, uh, what's it called, cotton. This one has, I think, barley. Yes. This one has sugar beet. Uh, we can also, I think, afford 31. Yes, it's 120. <laughs> and 31 has sorghum. Okay. Not 31. Uh, sorry, 32. It's plot 31. Field 32. Also 33. 
but we will be left with almost no money at all and PL2 with that which doesn't have anything drilled on it otherwise we need to move further from our farm and I don't really want to do that and now let's take a look at the price of drills actually let's see if we have anything in the sales no we don't let's take a look at drills see what we can buy maybe for around a hundred thousand which can be bigger than what we have right now my screen froze again yeah it worked we have this lemkin but this one is not a direct drill and it and it doesn't fertilize so it's not let's say an option for me we have this at eight meter also which does direct drill but no fertilizing and this at 200,015 meters we have enough horsepower to pull it but uh, again doesn't direct drill so the only option that's available for us right now is this Verderstad but it's not really an option I'll let me just go fast to the mod hub and see what we have available over there and then come back okay so i installed some mods now let's take a look into the cedar category and see what's available i also installed some planters that, that may work as both planter and cedar so we have this horse frontoid nine meter it's one hundred thousand, and actually does direct drill and fertilize so this is a top contender for this uh, and I also installed this but this is, this one doesn't do fertilizer so we have the 9 meter horse pronto DC and let's take a look at planters because I installed also something in here we have these ones that do basically everything but this doesn't fertilize also and we have this one that also does uh liquid fertilizer but it's a little bit more expensive but okay it's three meters wider than the the pronto but it's 50 uh, percent more expensive so yeah yeah so i've made a decision we are going to upgrade the cedar and buy this pronto 9 dc horse and we are going to sell the cedar that we have right now but i'm not going to do it just yet now let's go to the fields and see what we can buy for the kind of money that we have field 33 what does field 33 has in having it right yes it's right field 33 3 is 210,000 is too expensive we have this one for 120 which we can afford we have this one it's too expensive this one is too expensive we have this one also uh, I don't know how much is 19 too expensive which one should I get okay let's get field 30 true let's buy this this has i think sorghum in it let's purchase also field information for it we cannot do the ph but we cannot we can apply fertilizer to it so yeah we have two jobs right now before we move to to may we have to herbicide spray this field 28 and that we just drilled earlier and we have to uh, put fertilizer on field 32 so let's jump into our doits far i'm trying to remember where i put the fertilizer sprayer but i think it's in the shed just in the back over here yes 
and we have fertilizer in it, so let's go fertilize here field 32. And then we can change it, put herbicide in it and go kill the weeds on our field 28. Field 32 should be just uh, down the road on the left side. But I think I forgot to do something. Let's see which growth stage that field is in because I think I need to go back and put uh, row crop tires on this. Yeah, field 32 should be this one over here on the left. No, this is 33. 32 it's back. I think this one is field 32. Yes. But I cannot fertilize it just yet because uh, it's in the first growth stage. This needs to reach the first stage. So it's going to be fertilized in May. Okay. I didn't, exp I didn't see that coming. So let's go back to the farm and put some herbicide into this and go herbicide spray field 28. And now thinking about it, I think I'm going to uh, replace the drill and the drill field 8, our biggest field with soybeans, but I'm gonna do it off camera. Uh, because I want to do, I'll do two more episodes besides this one. And uh, I want those episodes to be about harvesting. In the, in the next episode we'll I'll come back in June, we'll go sell the peas because we have the peas to sell. And then we can move to July, August time to start harvesting our crops and that's how I want to I want to end this series. And also get chicken chickens in the pro in the process. So yeah that's why I'm thinking I'll drill the soybeans off camera because I don't have enough time. The episode will be too long if I try to drill them to drill them on camera. But okay, I'll I'll think about it, and you will see in the next episode what my decision was. But until then, let's herbicide spray this field. It will be a relatively fast job and I think after this we can end this episode here. Okay, so I think the weeding should be finished right now. Yes, it is. And with this being said, I think we've reached the end of another episode. Uh, I hope you are, you've enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. If you want to watch more of my videos, subscribe to the channel. And in the end, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.